you can easily create a two-dimensional Butterworth image filter in the UV plane. This is where we have our spatial frequencies. Let's see how we do this. I'm going to begin with a one-dimensional Butterworth filter frequency response, and it has an equation that looks like this. I should point out that if you had other filter shape, you could easily apply the method that I'm discussing here. In the two-dimensional frequency domain, or what we call the UV plane, sketch that in so we can see what that looks like. Here's the u-axis and here's the v-axis. Again these are spatial frequencies so we have DC or constant frequency in the middle and then in increasingly high frequencies as we get away from the origin. Now the key is to consider frequency, this frequency variable omega, we'll take that as being the radius that is the distance away from DC. So for example, out here at this frequency location, let's call that the cutoff radius, R sub C, that would look like a circle. So we think of this circle as indicating the in interior indicates our passband area, and the exterior indicates our stop band area. We pass low frequencies with low radius and tend to reduce higher frequencies with a larger radius. Now the radius is simply the magnitude in the UV plane. That would be the U direction squared plus the V direction squared. We then swap omega for R and that gets the two dimensional Butterworth filter. This function then describes the two-dimensional filter using the frequency radius as defined here. All right, now you have a little better idea how you can translate a one-dimensional filter into a two-dimensional image filter.